All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Code Fights, doing Paladrome, rearranging, and exploring the water of intro. But before we get that, most important of all, look how cute my fucking cat is. Look at that. That is a cute cat. All right, now that we've done that, let's get back to business. Oops, it was uh, having a little bit of fun there. Uh, but y'all get the point. I love my cat. Uh, so, I uh, love my cats. Anyhow, so what are we doing here? We are trying to find out if, given a string, if there is a way that we could rearrange it in which we figure out that it could be a palindrome. A palindrome is a word that is spelt the same forward as it is backwards. Now, uh, I, I originally tried doing this with a couple for loops, and what I found was that... Uh, I had a runtime error, and I don't remember exactly how I solved it, but I was running out of time. So what I ended up doing was I ended up cr creating an array that kept track of the letters as keys and the account of how many, how many keys are, the count of those keys, like A, we have two A's in this one and two B's, and then we did a little bit of logic. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're gonna do, as I mentioned, is we are going to go ahead and create our character array. This is going to be what we're going to use to set the the keys of our object. We're going to set this equal to an input string dot split. All right. So here we have our character array. Very nice. The next thing that we need to do, as I mentioned, that we are going to have an object. I just go ahead and call this letter object. You could probably come up with a better name. This is what I named it. And this is going to be where we're going to append our keys. So what we have to do now is append those keys. So we have to iterate through our, our array here. And we're going to first say, hey, does this property exist in our object? If it doesn't, go ahead and add it and set it a value to one. If it does, what we actually want you to do is just increment by one. So if our letter object dot has own property, meaning find out if this property exists, and I actually put equal equal it's the false, but we can just do uh not equals put a not on here the not operator so if it's false oops what's going on with the mouse here so if it's false we want to go ahead and take our letter object and using bracket notation we want to set it equal to that value so that first one in this one would be a because it doesn't exist in our object so we're going to add a to our letter object and we're going to go ahead and set it equal to one. And just so that we can see it before we proceed, let's go ahead and return letter object. Save it and run our test. So you'll see right now we get A, B, C. Oh, and, but all the values are one. Easy enough to fix that. So we'll just do an else here. And we will now just target that object that exists, excuse me, that key that exists. So in case of that A, and we'll just throw a plus plus on it to increment it. Run our code now, and we should have something similar, which is gonna keep track of all the, should be the same thing, except now they're not all gonna be one, six, 30 A's, one B and one C. Very nice. Now, what do we do from here? Well, it's just an, a matter of saying, uh, understanding that palindromes typically can only have, or not typically, can only have up to one odd count. And the reason for it is the, uh, the other ones have to be even on both sides, right? So that's all we have to keep track. We have to keep track of an odd count and say, hey, how many, how many of these keys are odd? If it's more than one, it's, it can't be a palindrome. So we'll create this count, I just call it odd count, and we initialize it equal to zero. And now we're gonna do a for 
uh, key in object loop. So I just say for val in letter object. Essentially a for for each loop for a object, right? And we're gonna say if letter object and then the val in there for the value rather, not the key, for the val. If that value, so if 30 modulo two is not equal to zero, we want to go ahead and, and increase odd count plus plus. And then here, instead of returning letter count, what we can do is we can just do a simple ternary operator here that says if odd count, our statement is odd count greater than one, we go ahead and return false. Or else it's true, right? Usually it's probably better go true than false, but this is how I did it. Let's go ahead and, uh, and run it, and I believe as long as I don't have any syntax errors, we should be good. And there we go. So the logic here is just based off of, hey, let's break up our string into an array. Let's then keep track of how many of those letters exist in that array in an object, and then let's find out if there's more, if there, if those values, if there's multiple odd ones. And if there is, it's not going to work. except when it's one, now that I think about it. So this pass, though, which is strange, because if you had multiple one letter ones, this wouldn't work. Like if it was A, B, C, D, E, F, G, would that work? No, it wouldn't, because it has to be both the same way. All right, never mind. My logic is sound. I am a genius. I'm officially a coding god. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, guys, uh, thank you for indulging me about my cat. And uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, that's great. We have a Facebook group and a Discord channel for those of you looking for help or just looking to share a coding meme. All that stuff is in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.